Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Hope you are well. So what we're going to do first here is have a look at how things uh, fit together, how objects fit together and the different ways that they can fit together, including moving parts, because all our models will have different um, needs and requirements. And so our models will need to uh, fit together in different ways. The reason we need to understand this is because our models will need to be separated into different components. And here I have um, something that we're going to have a look at in class. And it's going to move my microphone out of the way slightly. Here you can see that I've got um, part of the rocket set, part of the rocket boosters. And then you can see that I've left uh, a, a diameter inside here for the actual rockets themselves. So we just move this around. You can see how they fit together like that. So I've got different sort of circles in there. And then they fit together snugly inside there like so and then they fit inside like that in the same way that we're going to have a look at how things fit together in here all the other components that you'll see as well for our rockets and our and our transporter in class will go together in the same way okay most of us will have multiple parts and they need to be printed in different in different ways and then they are built together like lego to do that, we're going to need different joints. Some of you will have moving parts, okay? And that's fine. You will have things that move like a rover, for example. You'll maybe have a, a Mars rover. And that will have to have like a wrist action. And it will have to have some kind of gooseneck, just much like this microphone has sort of a gooseneck and it can move around. These are pre-made. OK, you can see that I've got my menu on the side here and I'm in the hardware section and the hardware section um, allows you to go and grab the pieces. They're pre-made and they understand the shrinkage and the expanding nature of the plastic. When we print through PLA, it starts off solid and then it prints and comes out onto a bed like this and then it prints layer by layer by layer by layer. But if you look closely at this, maybe you can see uh, that when it doesn't cool down well enough, you get like stringing and it stays all quite large. It means that your hinge won't move. So we need to think about tolerance and that when it when the plastic starts off hard, it's cool. When it goes through the hot nozzle, it's then hot and gets bigger and then it cools down and it shrinks. So. To think about this, we're going to leave one millimeter of um, space around our beams, rods and hinges because our model is going to need to be put together in many in many parts like this. We need to print and make sure that they can fit together like Lego. So inside here, I've got a hole here that is set to 15 millimeters at the moment. I need to go and change that to 16 millimeters. So the rod itself here, which is 15 millimeters, can fit inside and have that half a millimeter gap either side, top, bottom. OK, so it may rattle a little bit, but it's all fine. We, 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 are, we don't want to have any mistakes. The same if you've got pieces of sort of angle like this. So this piece of angle here I've got is works in exactly the same way. I've got a millimeter width. A millimeter height so that I've got half a milli half a millimeter either side and half a millimeter for that expansion and contraction as it cools and heats up. The same now goes for hinges but remember hinges are going to be moving parts so I've got a hinge here that's going to sit inside here. I've combined the both that the two things now which is both the circular the cylinder one millimeter in diameter so i've got half a millimeter either half a millimeter and also that box that's there as well that box needs to go in the other thing i need to think about is where the movement begins and ends in that sort of hinge door kind of way where is it going to go to and what, what's it going to hit if, if anything is it going to hit anything so we can, we can help you with this but you can also come back to this video and you can also just see what how i've put these things together OK, because they are going to be um, on display, these pieces, and together with the spaceship, they're going to be on display as well. So you can see how all the pieces fit together. All right. So that's it. Um, make sure that your tolerances for 
slotting things together have at least a millimeter a millimeter um gap so there we've got half a millimeter all around top or bottom or sides all right as always good luck